Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today I am going to show you how to create recovery service vault on Microsoft Azure step by step. So I have logged into my Microsoft Azure account. Here you can see uh, there was nothing created on my account Azure account for now and I'm, we have two options to create a service vault, backup service vault here in Azure. The first one is recovery service which is like legacy and you can say uh, the old um, the old portal and I'm going to create the um, my service vault recovery service vault from new portal so I'm going to launch the new portal from here click on it and here you can see I'm going to click on more services and type recovery so we have two option recovery service vault or site recovery vault classic so i'm i'm not going to create a site recovery vault which is on classic portals so i'm going to click on recovery so service vault so here we are we don't have any recovery service vault to display so now i'm going to click on add button here so it will give you option to create a recovery service vault a new Azure portal so here we are I'm going to type the name like recovery service vault so here is my subscription is free trial and I'm going to create a new resource group because I don't have any existing resource group here so I'm going to create here for recovery recovery source group and the location I'm going to put this on central US only so click create so it's initializing deployment so it takes some time and give you the new created recovery service vault here so just wait for a few seconds it's not going to take too much time So deployment success, deployment of resource group recovery, uh, recovery service group was created and just click on refresh here. So we have here our first recovery service vault with the name of recovery, recover so service vault and the resource group you can see the location and subscription detail everything here. So now I'm going to click on my recovery service vault. So it will give you the all the options which is available in recovery service world. So we will see one by one. So you can see on properties we have the status active and the trial and the recovery service world and backup security pin and the recovery service agent. So if you click here it will give you the download link for recover uh, microsoft recovery as a recovery service way of uh, service agent so if you want to put any machine on a backup then you have to uh, for uh, putting the uh, put the backup of virtual machine on any virtual uh, server a physical or virtual server on microsoft azure so you have to have installed this agent on your client machine on your server on your uh, backup client so this is the recovery service agent which need to be installed on server and the, and the backup credential when when you are going to set up the backup for any machine you need to have to have backup credential file so if you click on download it will give you the a small file basically the certificate you can see here this extension of file is dot vault credential so we need two things to set up any virtual machine backup or any physical machine backup to azure 
on this particular service vault or any service vault so the first thing is the installation of client and the second thing is we need you know, have to have the installation of uh, like uh, backup credential file so and then next we have getting started with backup here you can see to set up the backup here where is your workload running you can put on permise and you can set up the like what you want to backup system state bare metal ms exchange so these all the all the options so you can select and apply and then it will give you the option to install microsoft azure backup server download the uh, download the backup credential file which which i have just uh, told so post infrastructure infrastructure please use the microsoft azure backup on premise configure backup so this is the all about so i'm going to cancel it i will go and perform this on next video also if you want to enable the backup for multiple thing you can go ahead like i am going to enable the backup for on premise and the technology file and folder hyper v virtual machine microsoft sql server system state and bare metal for this service vault so you can just click on ok and then it will give you the option to prepare your infrastructure like installing the installing the microsoft azure backup server and these all details so click ok so one more thing if you want to learn more about the azure backup infrastructure you can click on here and learn more and you, you you may have the all the idea about what is this backup and why is the backup and you have also the like extension like azure backup agent limits benefits system data protection and these things and definitely there was a which application and workload can be backed up so we have file and folder windows server source environment you can see here windows server and file a folder windows computer and hyper v virtual machine hyper v windows server and the, all the things is mentioned there so we can go ahead and do this also and like azure iis infrastructure as a service vms windows or, or linux you can see the azure backup vm extension only so this is all about the setting up and click cancel so cancel once again and recovery service you have to prepare your infrastructure replicate application so these things once you prepare your infrastructure you can see here like recovery site and yes so this can be we have a separate video on recovery service so the next thing is backup policy I want to show you we have one default backup policy here you can see name is default policy if you click on it it will give you the option for backup frequency like daily on which time you want to run the backup so if you want to learn run the backup on 1 pm put at 7 pm so it will run on daily basis on 7 pm and if what is the rotation policy for backup like if you want to take the backup for days uh, 10 days then put it 10 days and rotation policy for week how much week you want to take backup for four week and monthly backup i want to put um, uh, you can say four month and the rotation for yearly backup so you can put like two years backup maximum and you can click on save so it will mm, save the backup policy and your default policy only so it will take some time to apply the deployment here 
you can see the deployment is successful so you can go ahead and close this and if you once again open it you can see that the all changes has been reflected here on our default backup policy so close it and we have a backup item like when we done uh, when we have completed the setup for virtual machines or file and folder you can see our backup here which is backed up by uh, uh, Azure uh, service world and you can find for both and we have like backup infrastructure like production server the server which are configured for backup which come is in production server um, and the backup management server if you set up any backup management server here so uh, this is the um, basically overview of the uh, creating and configuring the recovery service vault on azure so thank you so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any concern related to this please post me on my given melody thanks once again bye bye